Hello, Alaska. We are live at the Anchorage Lusak Library for the rally in the Anchorage area. Talk about lots of people being here. Don't forget to share my fellow Alaskans. We did not remember to get a microphone today, but this parking lot is packed. What you got there? Oh, uh, Lock down the mayor, huh? Wow. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Don't forget to share my fellow Alaskans. I will be here as long as I possibly can. Good, my kind of hat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Amen to that one. <laughs> You're on Facebook, follow Politidic. I'm up on all of this stuff. Looks like they're getting ready to rally people on out of here. Slide back the other direction here. It was packed all the way out to the road. This is the big caravan that's going to be heading out. Signs everywhere. No worries.
You are here. I'm sharing it with you. That's one way to be here right now. Show your support. Leave your comments. Share, share, share.
All right, don't forget to share, folks. Caravan is just about ready to start rolling out. I am gonna take a prime location here. Get it while I can. I will stay up and live streaming throughout this entire thing from start to finish. Even when I'm running to my vehicle and jumping in, I brought counterparts with me today to hold the camera to make sure we stay running and filming. The excitement, oh my God, it is unbelievable. There are hundreds and hundreds of people here today. Don't forget to share my fellow Alaskans. <clears throat> this is what you call standing up for your First Amendment rights, protecting our freedoms, and doing it safely. Again, don't forget to share. Alaskans need to see us standing up for our freedoms. Open our state back up. Many are here for many different reasons. Lots are here because the mayor here in Anchorage and his draconian dictatorship of how he has shut this city down and refusal to unlock it again. Others like myself are here demanding that our law-breaking legislators give us our full PFD, open our economy back up, make it so that all Alaskans survive, not just the special interests. I wish I could help you there. I only can deal with the internet speed that they give me. I will make sure I save it all and upload an HD version later today. It is unbelievable, look at that. Look at all those people. Businesses coming out to support their more businesses.
<laughs> Again, don't forget to share. Facebook squeals on you if you don't share. <laughs> Hundreds, I would say we got maybe a if you could count all the people that are hidden in vehicles We probably got a thousand people down here today. If not more This is what we classify as the true Alaskan spirit I will stay here until the very last vehicle rolls by me then I will run to my truck and race right on after them <laughs> There is not an empty row in this place. Vehicles are lined up out to the street on the back end of this caravan. The entire Lusak library was packed full. They've only got about three rows out of the 15 or so they have out here. Again, don't forget to share. Facebook squeals on you if you don't share. Alaskans need to see Alaskans standing up for our First Amendment rights. We demand our cities be opened back up safely and let us get back to work.
you are in Anchorage. You got nothing better to do. Come on down to the Lusak Library right now. Join this caravan. It's going to take a while to get this line moving all the way through to downtown. You have plenty of time to get here. Don't have to race. Don't forget to share Facebook squeals on you if you share. This is what you call Alaskans peacefully demonstrating, exercising their social distancing and demanding we respect our First Amendment rights. If you're here and you're watching me live right now, darn it, I hope you're sharing. I see lots of Make American Make Great hats here. Lots of Make Alaska Great hats here. They keep on coming. Again, don't forget to share. Facebook squeals on you if you don't share. This is unbelievable. Thousands of Alaskans have shown up here today. He passed me on the highway earlier.
Nice. Hey, not all people are going to make it to their destination sitting on the top of the car like that. <laughs> Again, don't forget to share Facebook skills on you if you don't share. Laskins here standing up for their rights. Many different reasons for being here. They just keep coming. So do you have any footage of me over there? If you don't know? You've been in the pan shot many times. This is really great. You guys are supporting this? You guys are actually supporting this? We're live streaming it all right now. I'm here. You are. Okay. This is the line for Darwin Awards right here. You know, open everything up and hope that the COVID virus doesn't make its rounds. Wow. And you're doing your support by wearing no mask. Uh... Social distancing, there's not a lot of problems with uh, being out in the open. If you knew a little bit about viruses and what makes them live and what makes them die, you'd know this. We have the extremes from all sides here today. The caravan keeps going, this long, long line still yet to get out of here. This is, this is more to do than just opening our state back up. We gotta get our economy rolling. Where's our full PFDs? Where's all the money they've stolen from us over the last five years? Why am I here? I'm demanding our law-breaking legislators actually give us what we're due. I support our governor doing what he had to do. I do not support the law-breaking legislators that are currently sitting having a House finance meeting discussing how to spend the $1.25 billion they've been given by the federal government on the special interest. I'm here to protest them doing that. Where's us, the average Alaskans, you see here support? Where's our help? To earlier the parking lot was jam packed now we are down to the back rows coming out of here evening afternoon <laughs> Asking spirit showing today.
Even our four-legged critters have rights. They've been locked up, cooped up, not allowed to go on social visit with any of their friends. <laughs> Woo! Stop the manipulation. The signs I have been seeing today are just absolutely amazing. Open Alaska, freedom over fear. All workers are essential workers. Amen to that one. Again, don't forget to share. Facebook squeals on you if you don't share. We are getting down to the last final couple of rows here. And then you're gonna see me do a mad dash back to my vehicle. And I'm going to go join this caravan. We're going to keep rolling live through the whole thing. Woo! Mayor, shut up. Ah, ah, ah. Open up the state. We have had enough. Open Anchorage. Open Alaska. Don't tread on us. We are open for business. Woo! For everybody that may be listening and, and living in fear about our state being opened back up, there's an easy solution. Just stay home. Nobody's telling you you got to go anywhere. But just because you can afford to sit at home and live in fear doesn't mean the rest of us can have our livelihoods and the rest of our futures completely destroyed. We'll take our own lives into our own hands, do the social distancing, washing our hands constantly. And staying away from the old folks and people that may have underlining conditions that causes that to be even worse. As of Friday, most businesses will be reopened again. <laughs> limited service, limited seating. I know mayors in places like Houston called their businesses personally to tell them what they can and can't do. Imagine the Anchorage mirror showing one ounce of courtesy towards the businesses here. Getting down to the nitty gritty in the parking lot here. It's almost time for me to run like I've never ran before.
All right, they are all, just so you are aware, they are heading downtown right now. Every single one of these vehicles is gonna be driving circles in the downtown area, blasting their horns, letting everybody know where they live. That we would like to see our state reopen back up again. Let the mayor know that his draconian dictatorship ruling is over. We all saw what he did with the earthquake and how he abused the special powers he got then. This is 10 times worse, 100 times worse than that. Again, if you didn't make it down here to the Lusac Library, they are just starting to filter out all the vehicles that are down in the back that are actually on the road. Come on down, join the caravan. If you can't catch it here, head on down to downtown. Go join them driving circles, blowing their horns. Let the mayor and assembly and our Alaska legislators know how we feel about the draconian measures they have gone through. Stealing our PFTs, the one thing that could have gave us the economic stimulus this year to ride this out, they decided not to do it. As in the famous words of Jennifer Johnson, Rep. Jennifer Johnson, we are just too stupid to know how to spend that much money if we were to get it in our own hands right now. Alaskans wouldn't know how to spend it wisely. Hey, Rep. Jennifer Johnson, where did the 16 billion go? Where did the 6 billion you've stolen from our PFDs over the last five years go? Who doesn't know how to spend our money wisely? The line keeps coming. They're still filtering through. Thousands and thousands of Alaskans have shown up here today exercising our right to be able to protest our dictator government doing what they have done. Allowing certain businesses to be open while shutting the rest of us down. Unbelievable. You can go into a grocery store with a couple of hundred people, but you can't go to your local uh, restaurant and get food from them. You have to have them deliver it to you outside the building. Unbelievable. I'm glad all of that's opening up as of this Friday. That's going to be so wonderful to have some sort of normalcy starting to return. If you're just joining us right now on Facebook, don't forget to share. Alaska is open for business once again. Woo! Come on down, it's not too late. This parking lot's down to like the last five vehicles now or so. I'm gonna go run to my vehicle. I'm gonna keep this stream going the whole time, so bear with it.
All right, I'm out of here for this location. Bear with us, folks. We're just going to jump in the vehicle and head out to the next place. Wow, I'm closing up the tripod as we speak. We'll go see if maybe we can find a spot downtown where we can go and park and uh, just live stream them going around in circles. I know why I'm here today. It's nice to have such a peaceful assembly of people today. It is wonderful to see the support of our Anchorage Police Department showing up today. These guys did a wonderful job. There was no, no reason for them to really be here. So I'm hoping that they were here because they're here supporting what we are all doing today. All right, then my new camera person is now gonna make sure that they get a good shot out the windows of us driving around in circles until we can get to where we can get a good parking spot. Don't forget to share Alaskans. Facebook squeals on you if you don't share. Can you two believe how many people showed up out there today? We kept watching them all drive out and leave. Well over a thousand people showed up here today. We're going to go take the back way out of this place. We have now stayed and filmed the entire caravan heading out of the Lusak Library today. We are currently now racing to go get downtown, go see if maybe we can find a prime setup location to be able to sit and park and film them going around in circles. This is going on until three o'clock today. So if, you got, if you're out and about, maybe you're doing a little bit of shopping you would like to show the support to getting our state open back up responsibly. To let the mayor of Anchorage know that his draconian dictatorship is over with. He needs to start responsibly opening back up our city here again. The four phase plan that he has, the first phase being hunkered down. His second phase doesn't even allow businesses to open up unless you are essential services only. I know I was sitting in Houston last night working one of my first jobs and I can't remember how long. And as I was sitting there, the owner of the business got a personable phone call from the mayor. The mayor of Houston called them to let them know what opening would look like, what the restrictions would be, if they had to move things away from tables or how far apart they could be. This business in Houston caters mainly just to the local population and it's, it's their business went straight downhill. They couldn't do anything during this virus crisis. The takeout service that they were doing was, was less than a 5% uh, of their overall business that they would have got normally on a given day and expected to survive off of that. There was unbelievable excitement last night watching them all giddy to be able to allow people inside. Going, we've got these huge, big covered back porches with tables back there. That's going to allow us to get at least another 25 to 50 people in their establishment that they wouldn't have been able to get before. 
So on a good sunny day, they might see what they would have on a normal bad raining day. But something right now is better than nothing, which most of us have been seeing. Again, if you're a business, don't hesitate to file for your unemployment. If you are a small business, even though you don't qualify right now, June 1st, they're opening up unemployment to all people, those in the gig society of business. And uh, we want to catch the caravan here. We're going to go right beside them. I want to make sure you guys all get a good view of the vehicles. I am literally going to slow it down to almost nothing here. Here is the caravan that we were behind earlier that we just filmed coming out of the parking lot. If you don't think there was a lot of vehicles out there, there's not a lot of Alaskans that want our state open back up. This line you see right now that we are going by, this is all the people that were at the Lusak Library a little while ago. God bless Alaska. Don't forget to share this feed, folks. Alaskans need to see Alaskans standing up for our God-given rights that they gave us as American citizens. They have been stepping all over our rights. Our First Amendment had been completely shut down. Even right now, the Alaska House majority is sitting inside having a gavel-only televised conference about how to spend the money given to Alaskans. Kim Jong-un Berkowitz. I didn't miss that one. And there they all are down there. I'm going to do a quick swing around into the opposite direction of the traffic. We're going to go and see if we can find a parking spot somewhere along this caravan line and start filming what they got going on there. <coughs> Keeping up the good work that we're doing right now. Gonna follow this uh, unmarked here in front of me. At least he looks like he's unmarked. Yep, he's unmarked. We're gonna go and find us a parking spot really fast. We're gonna join this caravan so that we can film them as they are going by. Don't forget to share my fellow Alaskans. We have caught up with the caravan. They are moving between C Street and it looks like may possibly L Street going around in circles around the park strip.
like I may have myself a good parking spot coming up here. Be able to catch all the wave as they're going by every time on the corner here. So between 6th and 7th, C Street going to, I believe it's L Street. If you want to come on down and join the protest, we are driving around in circles and we are blowing our horns and we are letting the city of Anchorage, the Anchorage Assembly and all of those involved know how we feel about this draconian lockdown they got us under. get things slapped back into position here. forget to share Facebook squeals on you if you don't share I just give you an idea how long this caravan is it is completely surrounded all the way they dominate it Alaskans own the road system right now This is great. Again, if you're out, you're out and about, and you're in Anchorage right now, come on downtown. Between C Street, 6th and 7th, going to L Street, going by the uh, library here, I mean the uh, museum. goes all the way down to the very end it wraps around the corner it goes all the way down there too and it's all the way to 15th by now you saw how far it was come on down join the caravan tell our mayor no more tell our Alaska legislators we want our statutory PFTs Woo. Again, don't forget to share. Facebook squeals on you if you don't share.
We are live, Alaskans! Oh! It's amazing how many people I actually know in this caravan. We've got thousands going around in Anchorage right now. This is happening until three o'clock today. Come on down, join us. Let's let our Alaskan legislators and our mayor and everybody else that is in charge right now know we are tired of this lockdown. Alaskans know how to open up our state safely. We've been social distancing now for a month. We know how to wash our hands and wear our masks. No more hunker down. Woo! I love his car. I said it earlier. He passed me up on the highway coming in from the valley. Vehicles just, oh man, my phone is acting funny. It didn't like that bump. It said I turned it sideways. It's still flat. They are out here in full force. Come on, Alaskans, come show your support. We can reopen our state responsibly. This is awesome. They're just stopping people that got infractions, burnt out headlights, so on and so forth. If you are here responsibly following the laws, using your turn signals, not blocking intersections, you have every right to be down here right now. And Andy, as far as I've seen, the cops are down here doing nothing more than directing traffic, making sure that it doesn't get jammed up. Every police officer I have seen has waved and smiled and had been a wonderful person doing a, a thankless job here in Alaska. Come on down if you're in the Anchorage area, if you're in the downtown area, starting at the Anchorage Museum. The caravan is going around from the Anchorage Museum down to L Street, down 6th Avenue, back to 7th again, off of C Street. Come and join the caravan. If you're coming in off from in the mid-Anchorage area, come in during the museum area. If you are coming in from downtown, Go down 6th Avenue. This is great. I tell you what. 
Thousands and thousands of Alaskans have shown up here today. If you've been keeping track of the numbers like I have, it is unbelievable the amount of support we have to get our state open back up. Tell the mayor the middle finger. <laughs> Taxation is theft, yes siree. This is awesome. The line is humongous. It just, it's a solid circle all the way around the city right now. The inside turn lanes are all gridlocked. You can't get in them unless you are joining the caravan. Come on down. Yes, she just said it. Come on down, join us. We can fill up the streets from one end of downtown Anchorage to the other. Let's let our legislators, our mayors, our governor know that we are ready for Alaska to be opened up responsibly. I'm just running, getting a charger here. <laughs> we are going to make sure we do not shut down during this broadcast. I will keep this running through the whole thing. I think I have the best quarter in the nation. Open Alaska, folks. Just give you a concept. I don't know how far you can see down there, but they're as far as you can see for vehicles. They completely go all the way around on the other side, all the way down to L Street, to where before you gotta turn off before it goes one way. This is the line coming in from the museum side that's a one-way street off of A. It is unbelievable. The caravan keeps getting bigger and bigger by the moment. If you are in the area, please come on down, join us. Don't forget to share Facebook squeals on you if you don't share. <laughs> Even our truckers in Alaska are letting them know Open our state up. Let our people go. Why are people
people here today. We're tired of being locked up. We're being tired of being told that all of our rights given under our Constitution are no longer valid. We are tired of people telling us that we cannot operate our businesses while other businesses are allowed to stay open. Many of us, most of us, are down here demanding that our law-breaking legislators release all the stolen money that they have taken from our permanent fund dividends over the last five years and turn Alaska's economy back around. One simple yes vote of $8,700 per every single Alaskan, we would have no worries. We could ride out this virus for the next year and never have to worry. Don't forget to share Alaska. This is just phenomenal. Thousands and thousands of people have shown up out here today. Fear is a virus, yes. Again, don't forget to share Facebook squeals on you. Bill of Rights, Trump. Socialist Easy, Ethan. I don't know if he's intentionally in our caravan, but he has every right to be here also. Just think of all the business that they have lost because nobody is conducting any sort of mailable business. Is absolutely amazed by how many of these people I know. This is just phenomenal. Come on down, Alaska. I know we're not a very big state, but when you could get thousands and thousands of people all to show up for the same reasons, open up our economy, demand our legislators give us what we need to be able to survive this, every one of us. Not just the special interest lawbreakers that they continuously catering to, only the special interests off the backs of us. All right, I know we are getting back full circle here finally for the second time. Because I see our Alaska Refuge Company is making his rounds again. The vehicles in between are growing. It is unbelievable how many people have joined this caravan today. If you're watching this on Facebook right now, do not forget to share. Alaskans, all Alaskans need to see what it means to support our state. Oh, Jeremy, get off your high horse. Get on down here and join the caravan. You're not no special than, or more special than any of the rest of us. Emergency vehicles, all they gotta do is turn on their lights and that's all there is to it. This town is so empty right now, you could literally have a dance party in the middle of the street.
I see a lot of vehicles that were a part of the caravan are, looks like they may be heading back down to the Lusak Library once again. But in all good news, the line to join the caravan is getting amazingly large. Brand new people showing up. Just stay home. The rest of us are ready to face this reality. I brought my mask. I washed my hands before I arrived. I went out and I walked the lines of all the vehicles parked at the Lusak Library wearing my mask. Everybody had their windows rolled up. The only people walking the parking lots was those that were working to make sure people got where they needed to go. Being crowd control. down join the caravan if you're coming from Midtown Anchorage turn out where the museum is at 7th Avenue you will have a long wait to get here but hey it is well worth it thousands upon thousands of Alaskans have shown up here today Shops are open, but my church is closed. <coughs> South Dakota has no lockdown, 150k more people and fewer deaths. Open up Alaska. Ultimately, in the end, it's all going to come down to who gets exposed and who doesn't. When they can finally test us and say, guess how many of you actually had the virus and never even knew it? We kept you in lockdown even though you've already gone through it. But, hey, you know, it's better safe than sorry. Keep your social distancing, lock up your old folks and those with other underlining conditions. They're our most vulnerable, they always have been, with the regular flu and this. Just in 2017 alone, 71 Alaskans lost their lives to the flu. To this virus, we have lost nine. Woo! <laughs> 
It's so warm outside today. I got even the buggies coming and getting me. Open Alaska! Our freedoms are essential. Jeremy can't answer anymore. He's been blocked from our page. He's been blocked. Those whose liberties for safety deserve neither. Amen. <laughs> All businesses are suffering right now. These guys here have not been allowed to open up their doors, period, during all of this. But the bicycle shop in Anchorage was. Why is that, Mayor Ethan Berkowitz? Recall Berkowitz. Amen to that one. They've been driving circles around where he's at today, supposedly. Or as close as you can get on a one-way street. Patience and patience are running out. Freedom are over fear. Again, if you're in the downtown area, don't forget, come join the caravan show. Support the opening up Alaska again responsibly. If you're just joining us on Facebook, don't forget to share. Exactly. Why are the pot stores open, but the gunsmith shops are not? Why are the Planned Parenthood being allowed to open and kill babies, but you can't go to church? Thank you everybody for joining us on this Wednesday afternoon. 
standing up for our First Amendment rights, standing up for all of our rights. The more and more this virus goes on, the more and more their predictions have been wrong, the more they're realizing that more people have been infected than what the numbers actually show. As with any virus, flu, it's always the old, it's always those with underlining conditions that are at risk. This has never changed throughout history. down join us today god bless <laughs> oh, i love our children god bless everybody in case you didn't hear what he had to say It is amazing how many people have pulled up here today. Yes, we must get back to work. Flatten the curve, check. Open Alaska, 100%. Exactly. I love this blue car. They have done such a wonderful job of St. Pink in that one. Purple. <laughs> Woo! It's Laura Rival! Hi! Alaska, yes! Senator Laura Reinbold is in the caravan today, demanding to open our state back up.
Even our own law-abiding legislators are down here today demanding they get our state opened up. This is going on until three o'clock this afternoon. If you're in the Anchorage downtown area, come on down and join the caravan. This caravan keeps growing bigger and bigger and bigger by the moment. Demand our legislators open our state back up. Ethan sucks. Open up Alaska. People power. Yes, we are showing our people power today. Just so you got an idea, they are all the way to 15th Avenue on the entrance next to the museum right now. This caravan is huge. This does not include everybody that is still doing circles out here. Alaskans, we can do this. Woo! Don't forget to share. Facebook squeals on you if you don't share. up our state responsibly. Come on, Alaska. people joining the caravan now whenever you see them coming from the museum area these people have been waiting in line forever to get added into this group that line is never ending over there 
We know these faces. We see them everywhere. Come on, Alaska, and support Alaska. downtown Anchorage coming from the mid part of Anchorage turn on a street turn on 7th at the museum join the caravan they are out here till 3 o'clock today every line of business you can think of in our state is here showing the support to opening our state back up again we need work. We need work and to do it safely. <laughs> I mean, these guys are essential right now. How are we gonna get rid of a virus if we don't get our homes cleaned? And my favorite one is about ready to come around the corner again. I have a perfect suggestion what to do with that truck. How many legislators could we fit into that dumpster there? Woo! Let's fill this truck up. Alaska legislators need to know it's time to take the trash out. If we don't do it now, we definitely need to do it in November. Get these incumbents voted out of office. They only care about making sure the special interests got money this year. Unlike other states, Alaska is protesting the right way. Thousands and thousands of people have shown up out here today, showing their freedoms, wanting it there. Woo, yeah! Oh, so true. The answers to 1984 was established in 1776. What is happening right now is trampling upon everything that happened then. sanction now. Liberty or death. Amen. If you're just joining us on Facebook, don't forget to share. Alaskans, all Alaskans need to be standing up for our rights. They have been trampled on long enough.
mask and so on up. Let them know how we feel. Tripod around. Thank you everybody for joining and sharing today. This is phenomenal, appreciate it. The line to get in here is just non-stop. This is phenomenal, the amount of people that have shown up here today. Thousands and thousands of Alaskans have come out of their homes today to demand that we reopen our state back up. The line to get in here wraps all the way down this street on 7th here. It goes down A Street, and from what I'm hearing, it ends somewhere around 15th Avenue is where the back of the caravan is currently at. Anchorage Police Department is definitely doing what they do at their worst. Alaskan Alaskans, especially right now, they could have waited to do this on a different day. I'll put any amount of money. The only reason why they pulled him over is because of the color of the tinting on his windows. I don't believe there would be any other reason for him to be pulled over right at the moment. And, and as you can see, they didn't even give him a ticket. They just pulled him over. This is Mayor Ethan Berkowitz's doing. Unbelievable, unbelievable, right in front of us. I wouldn't be surprised he ran because he saw the camera show up. All right, get back to my little hidey hole here in the corner. You can see how the mayor's handling this right now. He's got his police force down here harassing anybody and anybody for any reason that they can come up with. Thank you, Dunleavy. Yes. 
Make Alaska great again. Come on down, join the caravan. Alaskans supporting Alaskans. The mayor is doing everything in his power right now to try to shut this thing down. Alaska, please. These lines go on forever. Just so people understand, there are thousands of Alaskans doing circles in downtown Anchorage, letting the mayor, the assembly, Alaska law-breaking legislators, and the only a handful that are not know that Alaskans are fed up with what is going on. Senator Laura Reinbold, Alaska. important one of the caravan. This is where we're going to load our law-breaking legislators into in November. Even our trash men have been told to social distance. times. Lock up the old, lock up the sick, lock up those that have underlining conditions. Keep them safe. Stand tall, Alaska. Want to know where I got my Make Alaska Great Again hat? 
soon I may even be selling them here. We are already working on face masks. Anything to survive this virus crisis. Every penny counts. what you call protesting the right way. Woo! I miss my job. My freedom doesn't end with your fears begin. I think that sums up most of the people's comments out there. If you're just joining us, do not forget to share Facebook skills on you if you don't share. Alaskans standing up for our rights. There's nailed it there. Health, personal responsibility, not state mandated. Lady's mask she's got. If you're in the downtown area, you're planning on being down in this direction, come on down. Go down A Street, turn on 7th where the museum is. Join the caravan today. Alaska's undercover. There goes another one. They are on full patrol looking for any excuse to pull you over.
These are just to lend them now. I love it. I love it. <laughs> This line's way down there, way down there, way over there. This goes all the way down to almost L Street before they turn around again. Some are leaving to go to the restrooms and then coming back and joining again. This is awesome. This is great. Open Alaska back up. And the tyranny. Tyranny. I'll get that word one of these years. Say it enough times. We are not robots. Let people go back to work. Oh, here comes our legislator mobile for November. We're going to throw all those PFT stealing legislators into the disposal this year. House majority sat there and talked today in their own little special little session to discuss how to spend the money the federal government gave them and how to keep control over the purse strings. Could you participate in person? No. Could you give testimony about what they were doing? No. You could only view it on gavel to gavel because they were too scared to show it on national TV. Senator Laura Reinbold coming around for the third time on this caravan for me. Could have been lots more until I realized who was in that vehicle. Hey, you need your house cleaned? These guys need work. Give them a call, get your house cleaned. They can now do that again under the new mandate that just opened part of our state up. <laughs> this is great. Love it every minute of it. These guys have been keeping our state open this entire time.
I do it all the time. <laughs> Since the first time since I've been down here for over an hour, I actually see the end of the line over there. Odds are, from what I'm getting from a few people I was just went and talked to, the Alaska Police Department is setting up different roadblocks, pulling people over randomly, <laughs> making sure to block the road the turning entrances to where we are right now. Doing everything they can to try to disrupt this from happening. Like I said, for the first time, and I can't remember how long, I can actually see the end of the line there. Things are thinning out dramatically. Woo! You can see our local trooper down, our uh, uh, undercover coming toward us right now. He sat at the back of everybody that was sitting there. Oh, just a, just a just regular police vehicle. He was sitting at the back of the caravan, scaring people off. Lots of them flipping on lights when they have no reason to be flipping on lights. You saw the one I was able to capture earlier of the vehicle that got pulled over. As soon as I walked over with the camera, boy, let me tell you, he packed up his stuff and got out of there as fast as he could. Now don't get me wrong, we are still going strong down here. This is supposed to last until three o'clock today. It will probably peter out here probably in the next 30 minutes or so. Boy, now that's a funky sounding horn. Ah, good to see more people showing up from downtown, Midtown. Again, if you're coming in from Midtown, turn at the museum, join the caravan.
These guys here, FedEx, they've been very critical in helping us get to where what we need here during this pandemic. Thank all of them for being on the front line, helping us out, getting us our deliveries, so they wouldn't let us go in and pick them up ourselves. dumpster mobile don't forget we're packing them up there in November Something tells me we're getting down to the end of this here. We still have people coming in off of the museum area. Everybody is still going around in circles. Senator Laura Reinbold. Wow! Well, thank you for being here. I wish I could have saw more of you show up. Exactly. Everybody has our Bill of Rights, our amendable rights and cannot take our constitutional rights away. Senator Laura Reinbold. Wow, I think this is the first time I've had a corner that's just looking at the back traffic. Not too sure what has happened but it looks like we may just be done for the day just when I finally found somebody to take my passengers to the bathroom huh. yay we got some more showing back up again Come on down, this is still going on for quite a few more hours today, or at least another hour. I'm not too sure what time it is. I think we are after two o'clock.
Everybody needs work. Open our state back up. Again, I've been getting reports that uh, Alaska police are sitting there pulling people over randomly. They are doing their best. They have tried to disrupt this since the beginning. I'm just going by the people that have come and stopped on by us. The closest I got was the police officer that pulled somebody over here earlier. As um, soon as they saw me coming with the camera, they quickly disrupted what they were doing there, packed themselves back up into their vehicle and hightailed it on out of here. Currently, I'm sitting here stranded on the corner. <laughs> My vehicle that I was with has been hijacked. Someone came and took it, took my kids to go find a restroom. see another police officer down there right now just turned in behind the caravan different places throughout this entire thing they have been going around and road blocking it I'm gonna keep live streaming here for a little while longer take a quick walk down the road just to hear We do still have people coming around. Love it. Woo! They can't keep a good city down.
pile of people is definitely whittling down that's going around. <coughs> Say no to the new normal. I agree. <laughs> oh no, I work around everybody. <laughs> that is awesome, awesome. Shoot, I've got close to a, a, somewhere around 10,000 Alaskans now that have viewed, viewed this. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to see the numbers on this video. It is absolutely unbelievable how many people have shown up here today by the thousands. We have just a small handful of people that are still going around here, right there. He is the number one reason why this caravan is being shut down. They are going around doing everything in their power to try to get people off of these roads. I normally support our police department. Everything they do is a thankless job. But when the mayor starts using them as his tool to shut Alaska down, shut this protest down, just to show him how dictatorship that he just, total control. <laughs> Yeah, there's no bathrooms open downtown. <laughs> very, very few. These guys working their butts off. You know, it's kind of funny. They can come and walk into every business out there. They're still doing deliveries. They're still passing on packages that have probably been handled hundreds of thousands of times by different places, different people, all day long. And yet they've been allowed to work since day one. Wow, well, I've definitely hung this one out to the very end. We're down to just a few vehicles still going around in circles that haven't been scared off yet. Lock down the mayor, liberty or death. Down with tyranny. Still have people going around, we just don't got many left. This event is getting close to being over with. They may still be showing up down at the Lusak Library, I'm not sure. I was told many might go back there, that was a lot earlier today. But I think we got our point across to the mayor to our legislators, to our assembly members. Time to 
open our state back up. Thousands and thousands of Alaskans showed up here today. Today, on a day like today, is a day that I am proud to call myself an Alaskan. <laughs> Hard to keep up with the vehicles anymore. There's too much space in between them. Yeah, we are down to this last few people now. Those that are dying, uh, diehards that really want to see our state open, I'm along with them. I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful day to be out here doing this. It's sunny. I don't have to wear winter gear. It's not raining like it was doing on me all day yesterday. Or drizzling or whatever you wanted to call what was happening. If you're just tuning in, don't forget to share. Alaskans would love to be able to watch this along with us. It looks like this caravan has pretty much died off now. We got a few people that are still going around. Alaska House Majority Finance Committee met earlier today to discuss how they're going to spend the $1.25 billion dollars to sit and speculate about 10 months from now's budget on where they're going to stand because of the low oil prices that we are currently seeing at this moment in time. If anybody keeps up with the stock market, our oil prices have been rebounding back up again. They're not staying at the sub-zero negatives. They're hitting it back into double digits. David, it was amazing turnout. You should have been on earlier when there was thousands of people going around in circles. All righty, folks, I am going to call it a day. Thank you all for tuning in. We really do appreciate you coming out today. And, and don't forget to share on Facebook Live. Make sure all Alaskans get to see what our looks like standing up for your First Amendment rights, protesting safely, using social distancing rules, following all the guidelines that are out there. We showed every state in America what it means to actually follow the social distancing guidelines that they have placed upon us all. This is one of those days I am proud to be who I am and doing what I do.
Again, really appreciate everybody showing up today. Looks like we're gonna have our last little set of people come around the corner here. Again, thank you Alaskans for tuning in. Most appreciate it. You guys all have yourselves a great day. This has been amazing. Don't forget to share. Facebook squeals on you if you don't share. <laughs>